Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Samsung Galaxy S22. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 800 bucks. I repeat, 800 bucks. Now this one comes in black, white, green, pink gold, graphite, cream, violet, and sky blue. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick for the display. You got a 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Now that's 425 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Gas Victus Plus on the front and on the back. You got an aluminum frame. The phone is IP68, dust and water resistant. You got HDR10 Plus, 1300 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. You got eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12 with Samsung One UI 4.1 skin on top. Now you get a 3,700 milliamp battery that features 25 watt fast charge, 15 watt wireless charge, and 4.5 watt power share, also known as reverse wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 10 megapixel telephoto, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle. On the front, you got a 10 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you got dual stereo speakers tuned by AKG. You got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, Samsung DeX and Samsung wireless DeX, and of course, four years of Android updates. All right, so all of that for 800 bucks, what's missing? No quad HD display, no expandable memory, no IR blaster, and no headphone jack. That shit's whack, hashtag bars. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes. Calm down right on the pole. All right, here we go. Samsung Galaxy S22. Now this is the regular version, all right? Not regular, take out the U, regular. Regular degular. Okay, nice black box, I like that. Giggity, here we go. Rah. One more, Rah. Now, let's talk about the presentation, I don't like it. Now I understand this is all recyclable materials. Y'all know I'm all about saving the planet. You know, I live on the planet too but I don't like this, okay? Check this out. Inside the box, you get your device, you got your SIM ejection tool, you got your cable, okay? Now this is USB Type-C, the USB Type-C, shoes and spec that for quality. And of course, got your usual books and shit, pluck them and file them to the side, and that's it, okay? The presentation on this is lukewarm at best. What I, what I like to have seen, Headphones in the box, throw the dongle in the box, maybe a screen protector, maybe a case, maybe some Samsung troll stickers, just anything except this, okay? This is not this is not a $800 presentation. I, I don't like that at all, and I'm never gonna stop complaining as long as other companies are doing stuff like this. I, now, this is just what I had close in my hand. Big box like this, they put a little thought into it, patterns on and all that. You only get this unboxing experience once, and this one ain't that good. But nevertheless, here we go. Rah. One more. Rah. Okay. <laughs> Samsung Galaxy S22. Regular degular. Now, let me uh, pause the video. <laughs> I'll put all my information in, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I'm going to start off by answering the main question everybody been asking me. If you got a Galaxy S21, the regular version, should you upgrade and get the S22? And the answer is no, okay? Just that simple, no. They're basically the same phone, except for six key differences. Now, I'm not talking about differences like Bluetooth 5 versus Bluetooth 5.2, no. Six differences that you're gonna notice. Number one, the price. Now, this is the biggest difference. Right now, you can get the S21 for 450 bucks. S22, 800 bucks. This is almost half the price. Next, the build quality. Plastic back with Gorilla Glass Victus on the front. 
versus glass back with Victus Plus and Victus Plus on the glass on the front and the back. Now, even with this back right here, this is why what Samsung is calling glass stick, it feels like glass. Right, it actually feels like glass, and since it's not real glass, it's gonna be more durable. So if you got Butterfinger-itis and you're always dropping your phone, this is actually the way to go. Even though the glass one does feel a little bit more heavy and a little bit more premium, that wouldn't be my decision <laughs> to upgrade just for that alone. They basically feel the same. All right? They both feel like premium phones. Next, the display. S21, 6.2 inches. S22, 6.1 inches. Now, if you put them side by side, you can see for yourself, the S21 is a little bit bigger. Okay, so if you're looking for the smallest Galaxy, this is it. Next, the processor. Snapdragon 888 versus 8 Generation 1. Now, the average person is not going to know the difference. Right? In real-world usage, they both feel exactly the same, super fast, super smooth, no issues. Next, the cameras. Now, on paper, the S21, triple lens, 64, 12, and 12. S22, 50, 12, and 10. So it seems like if you're just going by numbers, the S21 would have a better camera, but it's not all about megapixels, it's about the sensors. The S22 does have a better camera, a little bit more refined. And lastly, the battery. S22, <laughs> 3,700 milliamps. S21, 4,000 milliamps. So you're getting a better battery with the S21. Technically, right now, this is a better buy. Okay, now if you're coming from a Galaxy S9, yeah, shoot for the moon, all right? Shoot for the stars, go for the big boy. But if you already got the S21 and you upgrade and get the S22, congratulations, you bought the same phone twice. Now, the only reason I would say upgrade is if you're one of those people, like me, you just got to have the latest and greatest. Why not? And Samsung is giving a lot of money for the trade-ins. You only live once. You want, to, you want to have the latest and greatest tech? Do that, all right? Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Don't feel bad if you're upgrading your phone every year. Most people's phones is their lifeline to the outside world, especially if, if you're like me and you live in a house, right? you, you stay in the house most of the time. This is your lifeline. So you want your lifeline to be the most up-to-date and the newest version out. And if you work hard, play hard, all right? Again, treat yourself. Don't treat yourself. But in the real world, <laughs> in the real world where most of us live in, these are the same phones, okay? This is definitely a better buy. Now, on a side note, I'm selling this one right now for 400 bucks. If you live in the USA, DM me on Instagram or hit me up. This could be yours, <laughs> all right? Now, let's do a quick size comparison. You already seen, this is bigger than the S21. Now, here's the S22 Plus versus the S22, okay? Way bigger, okay? And here's Galactus. S22 Ultra, 5 Gangster, Alpha Omega Supreme, the best phone out right now. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. I couldn't resist. A lot bigger. Now, one more side note. Everybody's asking when it's gonna, one of my reviews is going to drop for this one. My retail version is coming on March 8th. Hit me up in the comments and let me know, do y'all mind waiting until I get my retail version so I can really go in the way I want to go in? Or do y'all want me to review my uh, review unit? And I might have to pull a few punches because I'm a gentleman. I don't like to uh, talk too much shit about something I didn't pay for, but I can if y'all really can't wait and y'all want to see it, I will do it. All right, I will do it. But this is the best phone out. So even if you don't watch no more of my reviews, just buy this phone. I right, buy it right now. I right, buy it immediately. Okay, first, let's talk about the build quality with the S22. Y'all know I got to say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Now, I'm happy they went back to the full glass back because if you're paying premium money, you want the premium feel. This one is more durable, but it should have been about 500 bucks. If you're going to skimp out on the glass, you got to skimp out on the price. So they're charging 800 bucks. Now you get an $800, uh, $800 body. Okay. Gorilla got Victus on the front, Victus on the back, the aluminium frame. I right, shout out to everybody in the UK, everybody in the USA, aluminum. All right, this is the aluminum frame. <laughs> you got your triple camera set up. LED flash. I'm gonna try not to be too goofy in this video. I right, we try to keep this serious. Okay, on one side, <laughs> I know that's never gonna happen. This side is nice and clean. SIM tray, USB Type C charging slot. One of your dual speakers. Other one is in the earpiece. 
power button, nice and low, Google. I'm never gonna stop pointing this kind of stuff out because Samsung is one of my favorite companies, so is Google. Google, get it together. This is where the power button belongs, nice and low. Volume on the top. Or put the volume on the other side, power button, nice and low. Okay, build quality on this, excellent. IP68, dust and water resistant. Victus on the front and the back, this is a go. Next, a couple of different ways you can open up your device. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. Next, you got your face unlock. Bong, now y'all know we gotta get three in a row to make sure it wasn't a fluke. That's two, that's three. And of course, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Again, Google, face unlock, and a working fingerprint sensor. As much as I love the Pixel, I can't, that, that phone makes me wanna rage so bad because of the fingerprint sensor and the no face unlock. Those two issues would have made the Pixel a serious phone, a serious, serious phone for years to come. But as it stands right now, I am not co-signing that phone anymore because it just gets on my nerves. Nevertheless, I digress. <laughs> Hashtag bars. Now, if you notice, Samsung makes the best always on display in the game. You get your animated ones if you want. You got your notifications, time, date, battery percentage. And you can also change the brightness. Now that's an underrated feature on auto uh, always on displays, the ability to change the brightness. Sometimes you want it to be super bright, like I got it right now. Sometimes you want to save battery, make it a little bit dull. But if you're in the house 24 seven, leave it nice and bright, use it as your desktop nightstand. Uh, desktop night clock. <laughs> Use it as a nightstand. You can do that too if you want. All right. Once we open it up, bang, look at this. Beautiful display. I dynamic AMOLED. No quad HD, but it is what it is. Swipe over once. You got your Google feed. All right, now they got rid of the Samsung free. Uh, I was kind of iffy on that anyway. You know, a lot of people didn't like that. Personally, I like having the Google feed at the swipe to the uh, left a little bit better. I, is that the swipe to the right? <laughs> the swipe to the right for the Google Suite. I like having that better. Okay, so let's go through some of the basic toggles. Now, I'm going to try to do this part quick. Also, I want to know one more thing. Hit me up in the comments and let me know when I do these kind of unboxings and all that. Do y'all care about the settings? Personally, I do. If I'm buying a new phone, I want to see the settings. But a lot of y'all be like, oh, I already know the settings. Let me know. I try to make my videos for everybody. For somebody who never had an Android phone, they want to see what it looks like. We can't just skip over all of the settings. I'll skip over the basic ones, though. Okay, so you got your reverse wireless charging, which is uh, another underrated feature. Apple, y'all better jump on the bandwagon for the 14. Okay, you got your Samsung DeX, so you can plug it in with the cable, or you got your wireless DeX. Now, I'll show you how that looks in a minute. All right, so you got your nearby share, you got screencast, you got battery saver, ultra battery saver, Everything is on deck, and if you hit more, let's do that again. Bon, you got your camera and mic access. Now, you're going to have that with Android 12. That is a dope feature. So this way, if you're worried about people spying on you or you're worried about apps spying on you, every time an app accesses your camera, you get a little notification, and if some uh, another app accesses your microphone, you get a little notification. So you can always turn that on and off, especially for your Zoom meetings. Make sure you're never on the mic or the camera by accident. Okay, and you do have NFC. Let's take it over to settings real quick. Okay, connections. You got your VPNs and your private DNS for all your scumbag activities. Okay, nothing really to see there. Uh, notifications, nothing to see there. Sound and vibrations. Of course, you got your separate sound for app. I, uh, uh, separate app sound. So if you're using a Bluetooth speaker, you can have your music playing and you can still get alerts on your phone. You won't get that loud alert on your Bluetooth speaker. You ever been to somebody's house and they're playing music and they're getting alerts on the Bluetooth speaker and that kind of triggers you? Don't be that person. All right, use a Galaxy. You don't have to worry about that. You got your Dolby Atmos. Turn that on. Okay, you got your equalizer. I'm going to leave mine on normal, but if you want, throw the custom settings. Just push everything at the left and the, and the right up and the middle. Just leave it like that. That's a dope setting right there for Galaxy phones. Okay, anything else to see there? That's pretty much it. Display, of course we got the dark mode, extra brightness. Now when I make my S22 Ultra 5 Gangster review, we're gonna talk about ultra brightness, we're gonna talk about battery and battery saving. Uh, it's a lot, I gotta talk about, I gotta, I'll, I'll save that for that video. But just know that extra brightness does work. 
All right, it's going to destroy your battery, <laughs> your battery life. If you leave your always on display on max brightness and your extra brightness on, your battery is going to be trash. OK, but if you're in the house all day, who cares? Get the maximum out of your phone. So I'm going to leave mine on because I'm in the house. All right. Hermit life. Motion smoothness, 120 hertz. Might as well leave that on. OK, you got your edge panels, navigation bar. If you want the three buttons on the bottom, yada, yada, yada. Okay, uh, wallpapers in style. Now, Samsung has one of the best theme, so theme stores in the market. Uh, you see my um, lock screen? I'll leave a little link right there if you want to get that or you want to get something like this. Look at this. This one is kind of sick. This one is kind of sick. Yeah, see, it looks like, all right, because this is the big boy phone. So when you turn it up, it looks like, yo, okay, mad information being loaded. This phone is always working. I love this one. I'll show you how to get that one. And of course, one of my classics, Statue of Liberty. Okay, so with all of the Galaxy phones, you get that same experience, and that's from the Galaxy Theme Store. No need to check that out. I'll leave a link for that video right there. Okay, home screen, no need to see that. You can change all the layouts, yada, yada, yada. Lock screen, biometrics and security. You got face unlock, fingerprint sensor, and smart lock. Okay, you can use Samsung Pass, which is another underrated feature, especially if you like me and you're always switching phones or switching products. Samsung Pass keeps all your passwords, everything on deck, all your credit card information, everything is locked up using your biometric security. Okay, let's see, uh, privacy, shoes. <laughs> shoes. Shoes be coming in so hot, man. I'll be, I'll be playing it off, but shoes be kind of scaring me. And another thing, I'll, I'll wait till shoes come in camera. A lot of people was worried about shoes collar being too tight around her neck. Don't worry about it, y'all, okay? It's fur. It just looks like it's tight. I can stick my whole four fingers underneath that and go like this, so it's not tight. Don't worry. All right, shoes is okay. All right, she's okay. Next, let's see anything else. Accounts and backup, Google, advanced features. Okay, so you can link to your Windows computer. Okay, call or text on other devices. That's pretty dope too. So if you got a Samsung tablet, turn this on on your phone. And then when you're using your tablet, you can let your battery charge. And on your tablet, you get all your text messages and you can make phone calls directly from your tablet. All right, so if you got, an, if you got, if you bought one of these S22s and you got the S8 tablet, play with that feature. Call or text on other devices. Okay, so you got Samsung Dex, you got Auto, uh, Android Auto. If you go to labs, you got your multi-window for all apps and your full screen and split screen. Uh, split, uh, <laughs> I'm going so fast. Let me, try that. Let me say that one more time. All right, let's go to labs. Full screen and split view. <laughs> full screen and split screen. Oh, full screen and split screen view. Is that a tongue twister or am I just tripping? Full screen and split screen view. Not really a tongue twister, but twisted mine up pretty good. Okay, side key. Now I'm going to leave my press and hold for power. Double tap. That's your world star button. So if you're outside, you see somebody doing something, hit the double tap, bang, right to the camera, and you can catch them. Okay? Now watch this. If you notice, when I go to camera, you see that little green dot? That lets me know that my camera is being accessed. So any app that you're in and you see that dot, that lets you know. Okay? Look at that fingerprint sensor. Okay? Let's go back to uh, release <laughs> recently used apps. Where was we? Okay. Okay, let me close all of this stuff. All right, anyway. All right, well, uh, let's see. Advanced features. Okay, uh, motions and gestures. So you got lift to awake, which is dope. If you're using face unlock, you don't want to press any buttons. Just lift it and look at the phone. Double tap to turn on the screen. Double tap to turn it off. Keep your screen on while you're viewing. Okay, alert your phone when it's picked up. So when you got your phone in scumbag mode and you pick it up, you get a little, a little alert to let you know that you missed one of your notifications. Okay, mute with gestures. You can do that too. Palm swipe to capture. Bam, just like that. Okay, so that's motions and gestures. Let's see. You got screen shots, uh, screenshots and screen recorder. You got your game launcher. Video brightness. Now I turn mine on and all of the apps that use video. It's going to make your videos look a little bit brighter. Anything else? Accessibility. If your hearing are visually impaired, okay, there's all your hearing enhancements and all your visual enhancements. And your white shoes, your, your, that tail. Come on, bro. <laughs> okay, let's see anything else. Okay, uh, software updates, tips and trips about phone. Okay, let's go to uh, software information. One UI 4.1 Android 12. Okay, now this one has 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. That's pretty much it for the settings. Now, for your day-to-day -day activities, you swipe over. You got all your edge panels. Okay, so if I want to, press one button. Bang, I'm on internet. I mean, now, this is my first time using that. Okay, internet. 
and YouTube at the top, just with the press of one button. So let's try that again. We'll exit out of all of this. Okay. Now, if I want to do my usual browsing, now you can customize this to the way you want. One button, YouTube, and uh, the <laughs> YouTube and the internet. That's pretty much it. Okay, let's see what else we got now. Again, you can customize this the way you want. All your apps on one side. Next, I got my people edge. Okay, text or call, whoever you want. You got your rectangle oval animation and pin the screen. How does that work? Okay, let's see. I want to, oh, matter of fact, let's go to, uh, okay, that was nice. Little picture of Amaya. Let's say I want to pin that to the screen. Bong, just like that. Pin the screen. Then I can exit out of that. And I could be doing other stuff. I could go to uh, my Google Voice and still have Amaya's picture on the screen. Okay, and then when I'm ready to exit out of that, I can minimize it. Like that, bong. So now it's a little, little square. Or I can just straight up exit out of it altogether. Okay, now of course, let's do uh let's do rectangle. This is the best way to use rectangle. So say you're on Instagram and you see something you want to repost. Okay, I want to repost a little meme or something. Hit rectangle. Okay, now we'll move this to the size of the picture. Hit done. And just like that. So this is the way you want to repost your stuff on Instagram. You don't want to have the person's name unless you want to give them credit. You know, you want to cut down, you want to cut out some stuff out of the picture. Just like that. Now also, once you hit done, if I want to extract the text out of it, that's all of the text in that picture. All right, so you can copy that or you can save it, share it, go crazy. And of course, we do the animated GIFs or GIFs, whichever way you prefer to pronounce it. Pull up a Street Fighter video, okay? I wanna make a little meme of this one. We'll open this up, we'll do animation. Let's um, open this back up. Put it in there just like that. Hit record, okay? Now this is the kind of memes that I'll be making when I'm ready to challenge somebody. And there it is. They'll just keep replaying, and when you text a person, they'll get that just like that as a little gift. Now, you can make those with whatever you want. Okay? Exit out of that. That's pretty much it for those. You got all your different tasks. So, you got a stopwatch, alarm, photos, world clock. Got the weather. I like to keep a compass just in case I get lost in the house. And that's pretty much it. Now, you can go hit more. Let's go to edit. You can add, change all of the apps if you want. Or you can go to your panels in settings and add as many panels as you want. Okay, you can add up to like maybe 20, I think. But you can add a whole bunch of panels. I just made up 20, but you can add a lot. <laughs> I gotta I gotta remember, I gotta stop making up shit. I, sometimes I just be making up shit. I'm so used to doing that with Amaya. <laughs> Cause you know, dad, dad, dad has to know everything. So I'm used to just saying stuff on the fly. I'm like, yeah, that's how you do it. And I gotta go Google it later. But you can add a lot of panels. That's that's the gist of what I'm trying to say. All right, so now this is Android 12. So you got all your Android 12 widgets. My favorite Gmail widget, of course. My favorite YouTube music widget, the turntable. All right, so let's hit playing some music. Let's see what we got. Say I want to play some Mariah Carey. All right, so when I'm playing the Mariah Carey, when I exit out, we got Mariah Carey right there. I can like that song or pause it right from the widget. And I just like the way it looks. Got a little calendar. And that's it. Okay. Nice and silky smooth. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay. Now we can increase this volume. And there it is. Okay. Now I want to show you all something real quick. Watch this. Just in case you was wondering, here's the S21 and the S22. Snapdragon 888 versus Snapdragon 8 Generation 1. Like I said, in the real world, you probably won't even feel the difference, but let's just do a little test. Go to apple.com. Now, the Generation 1, it is a little bit faster, but not enough that you're gonna really see a difference, okay? Okay, so now here's the uh, website. 120 hertz refresh rate. Beautiful scrolling speeds. Of course, let's do a little split screen multitasking. 
Now, if we want to, we can pop this up first, then minimize it. Okay, now we're on Facebook. Let me go ahead and like that photo and then jump right back to Apple. Okay, now we can exit out of this. Now, from Facebook, let's do split screen multitasking just like that. We'll go to Google, go to Apple, and there it is. Super fast, super smooth. Okay, let's pause this. What's this? Live stream. Somebody live streaming. All right, I'll exit out of that. Come back to that later. Okay, now let's check out the speakers. All right, so I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy Mark Rebier. Here we go. Yo, sound test. Time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth. Time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass living? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, how I... Nice and loud. Let's cover up the bottom. Here's the top by itself. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Crystal clear. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. No issues at all with the speakers on this one, okay? Now let's take a look at this beautiful dynamic AMOLED panel. Excellent viewing angles. Look at these beautiful houses. Oh, they're rich, rich. Basically bezel-less display. I love it. Okay, found a little liquor store out there on the Catalina Islands. <laughs> Why do I always find this kind of stuff? Anyway, beautiful display. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. We got Asphalt 9 queued up. This is one of the games that I actually like. Okay, here we go. Look for any lag. Okay, let's go. Okay, they're trying to keep it close this time. I got to get fancy. Oh, I rap. <laughs> oh, oh, right between the buildings? I never did that one yet. Okay. Okay, let's go. I got to come on at the end. Okay, I got him at the end. Got him at the end. Let's get fancy. There it is. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I know. No, let me turn this down. No issues running Asphalt 9. Okay, so when you can run Asphalt 9, that means you can pretty much run any game in the Android market. All right, so now let's check out the camera. Now, say you happen to be up in the wing stop, getting ready to be a fat ass, and you see somebody about to get slapped in the mouth. Grab your phone, hit the power button twice. Bong, just like that, start shooting your video. All right, so that's a nice little feature to have on deck. Let's go through some of the different shooting modes. You got portrait mode, which you can do in a wider angle. You got photos, so you got wide angle all the way up to 30 times scumbag zoom. Pretty dope. You got video, so you can do wide angle, and you can zoom all the way up to 12. Now for resolution, you got 8K, you got 4K at 60 frames per second, and you also got 1080p at 60 frames per second, and you can go lower. If you hit more, you got pro mode, change your white balance, your shutter speed, your ISO, you got pro video, all right, that's a dope one. You got single take, 
You got night mode, which is one of the best night cameras on the market. You got food, panorama, super slow motion, slow motion, hyperlapse, portrait video, which is similar to cinematic mode on the iPhone. And you got director's view. So if you want to record the person and yourself at the same time, you'll have a dual view. All right, now, let's take a look at these pictures and videos for yourself. But I will say this. This is an amazing camera. Check this out. Samsung Dex. Now I'm going to wirelessly connect to my TV and use the phone as a laptop and I'll still be able to use the phone. So we're going to scroll down. Let's turn on Samsung Dex. Hit start. Let it connect. And there it is. Now watch this. From the phone, I'm going to use my phone as a trackpad. So now you see scrolling around let's go to Samsung internet 
just like that. Now here's some of the different tabs I had open. Say I want to watch Apple TV. I can take it over to Apple TV and watch a movie, but from the phone, I can exit out and take it over to Instagram and start scrolling on Instagram, doing my thing. At any moment, I can go back, use the phone as a trackpad. Let's see, uh, let's see what's going on with OnePlus. Full website, completely wireless. Let's take it over to Amazon, do a little shopping. Now I can be shopping on the big screen, using the phone as a trackpad. I can watch a movie. And like I said, I can exit out and still completely use my phone. This is a major go. Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. You just spent $800 on a phone. How does it work in the real world? Let's find out. Now the phone does have wireless charge, so you might as well buy a wireless charger. Wake up in the morning, you don't have to touch anything. This is why I love always on displays. You can see the time, the date, your battery percentage, and your notifications. And like I said, you can have the always on display nice and bright. Wake up, grab your phone. You don't have to press anything. Just pick it up and look at it. Bomb, there it is. Now let me show you the charging animation. I right, shout out to Samsung for updating that. That looks a little bit better. The first thing I like to do when I wake up, check the weather. Okay, there it is, 63 degrees and sunny, a beautiful day at NYC. Exit out of that. Next, we gotta do a little bit of work. Okay, so let's take it over to Gmail. Now this would be me reading my work emails. Oh, that's a nice 76ers hat. I like that one. This is my kind of hats right here. That's pretty dope. Okay, so now if somebody sent that to me, uh, sure thing. Just like that, hit send, bomb. Okay, so that would be my work emails. You got 120 hertz refresh rate, so you, <laughs> you can skim through them nice and fast. Exit out of that, keep it moving. Next, let's do a little bit of shopping. Let me go to, uh, let's go to a, one of my favorite websites. FlossyCarter.net. Shameless plug alert. Okay, so we got all my recent uploads, but the best thing about this website is the merch. Now say I wanna buy some merch, let's see what we got on deck, featured products. I wanna get a Slam Boy certified t-shirt. Go ahead and order that. Oh, uh, maybe I wanna check, keep browsing, let's see what else we got. Get some white shoes merch. Okay, so we got the late but still great mug. Okay, for the low price of $14.99. And keep in mind, all proceeds go to White Shoes Kitty Litter and White Shoes Dinner. Okay? This is how your shopping's gonna look. Now, say I wanna save that for later. Let's we'll open this up in a pop-up view. Then we'll minimize it. Just like that. We wanna keep that on deck. Now, let's do a little bit of social media savagery. So let's take it over to Facebook. See what's going down on Facebook. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna have to turn this volume down a little bit so we don't get the copyright copyright police on us. Okay. I choose not to judge others because in some areas of my own life, I'm still on trial myself. That's a nice little uh, quote right there. Let's get a screenshot that. Okay, I might have to post that on the gram later. <laughs> That's how we do it. Now, if I want to, instead of screenshotting, again, I could have just went to one of my tabs. Let's do rectangle, okay? And look, just like that, hit done. Okay, now I can share that right to Instagram. Let's exit out of that. Okay, anything else we need to see on Facebook? Okay, everybody looking good, I like to see that. I'm fat, so you know I like to like all food, okay? Shout out to my aunt, doing her thing. Look at Pierre, look, now this, this, is, this is one of my little homies, look at that gray beard, dude. The little homies looking older than the big homies, man. This, they, what, what a time to be alive. <laughs> okay, let's see, I know, that wasn't even that funny. That wasn't that funny. Okay, we got the uh, Apple Watch. <laughs> it wasn't that funny if you got the gray beards. I'm sorry, I'm not roasting y'all, okay? I'm, I, I just got the, I did, I'm just baby fish nosing here. Let's see what else we got. Okay, somebody got a nice tattoo. Okay, now, again, let's do, let's do a little multitasking. So we'll do a uh, split screen for this one. And let's take it over to um, YouTube on the bottom. Okay, so now I can watch my video. Turn a little volume up while I'm scrolling on Facebook. And at the same time, I could always go back to the merch and buy some merch. So this is true multitasking. Exit out of all of that stuff. 
We got pitcher and pitcher. My little ball popped up, stayed there on purpose. Exit out of that. Okay, next, let's take it over to Twitter. Let's see what's going down in the Twitter sphere. Is that, a, is that a real word, the Twitter sphere? Let's see, when we review the Sony Link Buds. Okay, I got the Sony Link Buds in the mail on Monday, but it's just so many phones dropping this week. It's a lot of phone hype, so I'm a little backed up, but I will be doing the Sony Link Buds this weekend. Okay, let me go ahead and like that, and I can reply to that comment, but I'll save that for later. Okay, I'm still rocking the S21 Ultra <laughs> Omega Gangster. <laughs> he said the Ultra S21 Ultra Omega Gangster. No, it's S21 Alpha Omega Supreme. Okay, S21 Alpha Omega Supreme, which is not the over Omega Supreme anymore. This is the Omega Supreme. Okay, the S21 is Thanos now. All right? If you got an S21, just call it the Thanos phone. We'll talk more about that when I do the full review. If you got an S21, keep it though. I right? keep it. Don't worry about it. You still good. You still on top of the food chain. All right, so this is how the Twitter's gonna look. Nothing really to see there. Take it over to TikTok. Hit the volume on this. Let's see what's going down in the TikTok world. Okay, now look. This is a Maya and her cheerleading competition. Let me get in like that. All right, let's, let's, let's. <laughs> Zesty, spicy. All right, let's, let's, let's. Oh boy, let's see. Anything going on? Uh, you know, Queen. Oh, Queen's hidden gem word. What is this? I like little stuff like this. Because, look at, oh my God, what is this place? Let's see, what is this? New York City restaurant, what is this? Let's hit see more. Okay. Mm, doesn't show the name of it. Maybe I have to put the volume up. All right, we got, oh, Jade. Okay, Jade. Jade, okay, look, now again, screenshot that, because I'm going to need that. Did I screenshot it or did I get rid of it? <laughs> I might have got rid of it. See, that's the thing about the palm swipe. You got to be careful because... If you do it wrong, you don't get the swipe. That was a swipe. So if you're not sure how to use it, just use the regular swipes. Anyway, so this is your Twitter. Okay. I mean, this is your uh, TikTok. Okay, I hate TikTok. And let's see, anything else? Let's do um, Let's do one more. Let's take it over to Instagram. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is a family show. This is a family show. That's when you want to test out the swipe. Okay, let's see. Chapstick now. Come on. You, you, I follow Chapstick on Instagram because they got the... Ooh, look at this. The happy couple one. The limited edition. Let me get to save that. Okay. Now, graphic content. We're going to skip that because this is a family show. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Now, this is uh, 120 hertz. Look at that scrolling speed. Let's see. Is there anything we need to see? Who this? All uh, right. That's look like Yeezy. Yeezy and my man, China Mac. All right, shout out to China Mac. It's one of my guys. Okay, now this is a nice page to follow too. It's called, let's see, um, <laughs> Men With Pot. Men With Pot. I didn't even know the name of it, but this is some nice ASMR videos, and he be cooking up some stuff. If you're a fat ass, you're gonna like this. It's gonna make you hungry immediately. Let's see anything else. Okay, you see the scrolling speeds though, okay? Let's see what, what Amaya talking about. Okay, this is Amaya's story. You know, I, I'm, I'm such a dad. Every time I see Amaya, I get all hyped. Okay, Red Magic. Uh, Y'all seen the Red Magic 7. Anyway, so this is how your Instagram is going to look. And, of course, let me find one more photo for the pinch to zoom, boys. All right, if you want to pinch on the face, you could do that. And, again, if you want to sc <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> it's a screenshot. <laughs> ah, the family's out. All right, let's, let's exit out of that. Anyway. RDA, regular daily activities, okay? You don't got to be some kind of tech nerd to use um, a flagship phone. All of the regular stuff that you do is going to work, but it's going to work super smooth, super fast with no lag. Again, let me show you one more thing. This is what I was talking about, just in case y'all was wondering what I said with the uh, feed. Remember the Samsung Free? It kind of gives you this like little um, TV guide kind of thing. I know, a lot of people didn't really use that, and a lot of people wanted to have the Google experience. <laughs> So I'm glad they went back to the Google experience. Let's go ahead and uh, wrap this up. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Galaxy S22 regular degular a major, major go. I really don't have any issues with this. Matter of fact, let me, let me take that back. I'm giving this a major, major, major go. This is a triple major go, okay? My only gripes with this would be really the price, okay? 800 bucks for this phone. Let, let's 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 talk now. Let's talk as friends. I right? let, let me take off my reviewer hat. Let's talk as friends. All right? If you was my friend and you asked me, should I buy this phone right now? I would say no. 
I would say, look, if you're looking for the littlest Android phone that's still powerful, go with the S21, okay? They're pretty much the same phones, even though the S22, the kind of squarish design gives it that iPhone feel, it's not worth the extra 350 bucks or almost 400 bucks because you can buy this right now for 450. But I would say, look, if you do have 800 bucks and you just determined to spend it, why buy this phone when you could buy the Galaxy S21 Thanos version, right? the S21 Ultra, you could buy that right now for 800 bucks and under. I've seen them for as little as 700. I actually have one that I'm selling for 700, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So why buy this for 800, no quad HD display, okay? Why buy this for 800 when you can buy the, uh, the Gal last year's S21 for the same price and get the quad HD display, get the extra zoom camera, get, get all of the bells and whistles? You know, um, I think Samsung really should have priced this one at, this one should have started at 600 bucks for the 128, 700 bucks for 256, and then this one right here should have been 800. Now, 1,000 bucks for the S22 Plus, no, okay, no, I know no fancy analogies or nothing. No, I right, no. We're gonna I'm I'm gonna do a full review on this one too, okay? Because I got some stuff to say about this one. But again, if we just friends right here, don't buy this for eight hundred unless you got a phone to trade in and you get a lot of money for your trade in. <laughs> unless you're coming from an uh, <laughs> an ancient Android phone and you just want to be the big boy, then yeah. But I would say go with the S21. It's a way better buy for pretty much the same Android experience, the same looking phone, almost the same feeling phone. And this one is actually more durable because of the plastic back and it doesn't feel cheap. Anyway, Galaxy S22. This is a triple major go. I do love it, okay? You haven't seen any lag in this video. This is just a real beastly phone, okay? It's just a little bit overpriced. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. I'm pitching the road. Your boy Floss on that Deuce. Spock won the beam up. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossy Carter, we know you Flossy. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossy Carter, you part of the money team.